Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, when multiplying um, two binomials times each other, one thing I want you to um, recognize is one of the most common multiplication formulas. And what that common multiplication formula is length times width equals the area of a rectangle, correct? That's the most common multiplication formula that we have and that we know. So if we know that when you multiply two terms to get area, what I'm looking at is I'm multiplying two binomials. So therefore, you could theoretically say that is going to produce an area. Now, it's a little bit different when looking at this because this obviously is just L, which is going to represent a length. Um, and here I have 3y plus 4. So what I want to do is I want to say, I want to show us how can we have 3y plus 4 represent a length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent a rectangle. And on that rectangle, since I have a binomial that's going to contain two terms, I am going to split up my length and my width into two boxes. And I'm going to do that in the same, let's say that's the width, and I'll have this is the length, 3y plus 4. So therefore, what I'm doing is I'm just saying this will be the length and this is the width. For each term, I'm just going to create a nice little box for them to write them in there. And then simply all we're going to do is now just find the area of each little box. So remember, the area of each box is just length times width. 3y times 2y is 6y squared. Length times width. 3y times negative 3 is negative 9y. Length times width, 4 times 2y is 8y. Length times width, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Now, you notice that we have like terms, so we can combine those like terms. Therefore, I'm left with 6y squared minus y minus 12, which would be my final answer. Cool? Questions?